So today we are going to be painting this bathtub. It's in good condition, it just is old and looks bad. And so we're going to be painting it with the uh, Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile. I'll put an Amazon link in the description. Um, you also might be asking, uh, what about this drain, Mike? It looks like crap. Well, I agree, it does look like crap. I'm not gonna tape around it and paint around it. We're actually gonna replace it. So we'll show you how to do that as well. And uh, we've got this little removal tool here to help with that. I'll put a link for one. I'm going to be cleaning with Comet and a little Norwex scrubber and a putty knife. And so we've already got the cleaning all done. So we're ready to go ahead and mix the paint and get started. Well, unfortunately, I uh, can't find my tripod. So we're going to try our best here. Be smarter than me. Get a smaller container than this to mix it in. Um, in order to prep the surface, hit it with a really fine grit sandpaper just to kind of rough it up. Make sure patch any holes you got. Um, scrub it really good. Have it all ready. We'll address the drain later. But uh, all I have with me is a five gallon bucket. So that's what we're going to use for this. So we're pouring in part two first. I suppose it doesn't matter. I like to live life on the edge, folks, so I'm not wearing a mask or gloves or anything. I'm gonna pour that in. And we're gonna stir it up. I know this is a much more liquidy than normal paints, so don't expect it to get super thick. it up here for a minute and then we're gonna pour it into our little paint tray here we got a quarter inch nap roller and we're gonna be primarily just rolling this on we'll hit the corners a little bit and the front a little bit with a brush but primarily just rolling it so here we got our paint It's hard to tell with how thin it is, you, you would think it wouldn't uh, adhere all that well, but it's not bad. It does want an hour to dry in between coats. Um, I also know this product won't uh, stay once you mix the parts. It's only going to stay good for a certain period of time, so you don't want to wait too long. It's going on just fine. Uh, my only my suggestion would be find a roller, a decent quality roller that doesn't roll just on the metal bar like that, because it tends to get stuck a lot and then just push. See how it just kind of pushes. You want something you got to go really light in order to get it to roll. But um, it's all going on okay. Finding that I'm that second coat's probably gonna go on much sooner than an hour. I've already hit a couple spots the second time and it covers really well on that second go around. But if you hit it too soon, it's a little bit tacky and it kind of pulls it off. So just give it a little while. It's a, a warm, dry day here, so it's gonna dry pretty quick. Just got the uh, front of it to go. It's only been uh, about five minutes, so pretty easy. So first coat's on, as you can tell, you know, definitely needs a second coat, but I did a second coat on the top ledge around and it's uh, looking really nice. It just doesn't uh, 
smell very good in here. The second coat's done. I'm super pleased with it, actually. Um, I mean, it looks phenomenal, especially compared to what was there before. I think as it continues to cure, the uh, coloring will kind of even all out. As an easy job, considering about $60 total in product and about an hour and a half. And that's uh, with one hour of just waiting in between coats. Pretty good, easy, cheap transformation. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it. All right, so just FYI, I did end up doing a third coat. I have plenty of material left to do a third coat and uh, definitely came out a little more even and uh, really good looking. Well worth the time and money.